hello guys i hope you are doing well in this video we're going to learn about creating an e-commerce website in next.js so without any further ado let's get started creating a project we have this beautiful page in front of us here and in this page we have created all the design using next.js and all the product that we have faced here is coming from an api so we're going to see how to create a beautiful design in next.js create an e-commerce website and also see how to fetch the product from the api and all the data facing process in next years so there is a lot of things to unravel in this project so let's get started with the demo of the project in this page you can see here we, at the top we have this top bar then we have all these categories and this nice little animation when we hover on the category below it we have this banner section where we can just slide on all the banner and the banner section has the image and the call to action button Below it, we have this featured product section, which contains all the product that is coming from the and coming from the API. And you can see this is a slider where we can slide all the product products. And also, when I hover on it, we see this lies hover effect, where we can see cart, wish, and view buttons, right? And below it, we have a similar kind of section for latest product. And below it, we have the category section, which contains a list of all the category here. Okay. And at the bottom, we have the footer section for the footer now let's go into the individual product i'll just create here go out here and just click this view on this product and now you can see here we can view the product from here so the product image is on the left and the description about the product color the variance price quantity button and checkout button everything is right here on the right part of the section below it we have this tab bar uh, and here we have all the description specification and reviews section and below it we have these more products and also below that we have the similar kind of category section that we had in the home page okay now this looks good now let's go out into the category section and select one of the category i will just say uh, jewelry so inside here is this is a category page where we have the product listed based on the category and all the product is listed right here like this and inside here you can see here we have these buttons uh, and on the left side we have this filter with gender category price color size and everything and it looks really great now let's go into the product and just say add to cart and this is our cart page in our cart page you can see here products which is already inside our cart and here we have all this product listing all the total price is right here and everything looks perfect now let's go to the next step and inside this next step you can see i go to the shipping step because the first was the checkout step and then second step is the shipping step which looks really beautiful because it is a tab and the design looks really great here as well and here we have the sign in form on the left and fill the form on the right and also i can just say next and it will go to our payment section where we can cash credit and everything now let's go to our home page you can also see that the project is completely responsive if i can make it responsive <laughs> so let's go out here inspect it and you can see the project looks good in all the devices right like this if i go to one similar product it looks good here as well so the project is basically overall responsive so let's see how we can create this beautiful amazing amazing spectacular e-commerce website in next years let's carry on so first of all we have to install our node.js you can go and install the node.js if you don't already have node.js in your uh, computer and install the latest version if you can then we are going to select the automatic installation and we're just going to copy it i will just open my terminal and i'll just paste the code right here npx create next app at the latest and it will start my start creating my next year's project so okay to proceed yes after that what is my project name my project name is dashing e-commerce like this do you want to use typescript obviously yes eslint yes kelvin css no source directory no app router yes customize yes i will be at rate okay just hit enter and then you will find yourself creating a brand new nextjs project As you can see here the project has been installed let me zoom in a little bit like this okay wait 
now the first thing i'm going to do to is go inside the project called dashing commerce like here i'll just say rs and i'll see that all the configuration file is here i'll just say npm run dev and hit enter now the server is starting and let's see okay so server is running now in our localhost 3000 i'll just command and click on this project or i can just go out here and type on local host 3000 and you can see we can start our brand new next year's project here so next thing is creating our components 